Hey everyone, welcome back to Ansible AWS series. Well, in today's video, we will focus how to run a playbook from AWS dashboard. And we are going to specifically use the execution environment Docker image we built during our previous demo. So this is going to be an interesting one to learn. So let's get into today's video. Hey, if you are watching this channel first time, please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button so that it can reach the maximum people. With that, let's start today's demo. Alright, remember when we tested our playbook last time, it didn't work and throw an error stating that it can't find collections or the module path. So to add some context here, the default execution environment we have in Ansible doesn't allow to run our playbook. So what we required here is that we need to create a container using the Ansible builder command by adding all your modules and collection we required for our playbooks. So we have done that in our previous video and push the newly created container image to the GitLab registry. That's really good. So next what we are going to do here is to call this container what we have uploaded on GitLab to the AWX. So for that what we need to do on the Ansible AWX dashboard that we need to go to execution environment. By default you will see two execution environment defined but we can add the custom execution environment by clicking add button here so let me click add then define a name so i'm going to put a name as ansible underscore custom execution environment v1 then the important part is the image where we need to define the container path details from the public registry so to get the path details let's jump into the gitlab page go to the repository so here is a repository we have created in our previous video then go to the deploy then the container registry here is a container we have created for the execution environment where we have the collections of cisco ios kubernetes and many other collections so click here to get the path to be copied and go to the image here put it here then you'll see that registry.gitlab.com then the image name here what are the different pull requests you can do you can do always pull container before running only pull the container if not present before running never pull the container before running so you i will go with the default one here now then you can add the descriptions organization and registry credentials so since we already have an ssh connection built between the awx to gitlab i'm not going to select that one so just save this one that's it so we have the uh, execution environment created i mean we've been defined or called into the awx now so now what let's go to the template so if you remember that we have created a job template which is basically a playbook so click on that one demo project one let's go to edit mode we already run this uh, template once it failed so here we have the inventory details where we have two routers in this lab demo and uh, then we have this GitLab demo project which basically carries the information about the playbook now we need to define the execution environment so if you click here you can see the newly created execution environment and the default to select the first one we just created then it has the playbook information which is auto populated from the project then you have the credentials this credential is for the device login then if you want to add any other informations you can add it here the only information i want to add is the verbos so i want to run the verbos at the debug level so that we can have more logs present while running the playbook so let's save this playbook now since we are good let's launch this playbook next launch so 
so it is trying to run the playbook now you can see it is running now and uh, if you want to relaunch the playbook you can do this one if you want to download the output you can uh, download those logs but now let's see the results you can see here that the, our playbook has run successfully here is the output so we have run show ip interface brief command onto the second router so we have run against vios 1 and vios 2 and failed is zero here and um, so it was successfully run so now you see the output from the device so before that let's go to the playbook we have a playbook created for awx gitlab project was referring to this playbook where it is running show version first then the show ip interface brief so here this one so the router ran uh, show version and show ip interface brief then this is output of show version then yes this is continuation of that one then you have the interface brief then it then the playbook ran to the second device same command set and the output so this is how you can use the custom container or the execution environment to run our playbooks i hope this will help to build your knowledge on awx so if you have any questions related to this video feel free to put into the comment sections so with that i'll wrap up this video again thank you for watching and see you on the next video